Welcome, Math Crew. Uh, our task today is to list everything we can about the graph of the following function. And the function we have is f of x equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 1 to the second minus 27. I'm hoping that you'll recognize that this thing should graph as a parabola, and it's written already in vertex form. We can identify the vertex from our function as negative 1, negative 27. And that means that the axis of symmetry for the parabola is x equals negative 1. We should look for a y-intercept of the graph. And anytime you want to talk about a y-intercept, you need to let x equal 0. Let's go do that. f of 0 would equal negative 3 times the quantity 0 plus 1 squared minus 27. When we work on this, 0 plus 1 is just 1. 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 minus another 27, I believe, is negative 30. Our y-intercept will be 0, negative 30. Our x-intercepts, When you want to find those, you'll set the y-coordinate equal to 0. In this case, we'll have 0 equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 1 quantity squared minus 27. And in this format, the square root property is really handy for solving for x. We'll add 27 to both sides of the equation. That will give us 27 equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 1 to the second. Then divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. And that gives us negative 9 equals x plus 1 quantity squared. Getting closer to the x coordinate for your, or x coordinates for your x intercepts, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation, being very careful to make sure we take plus or minus the square root of negative 9. And when you do that, you should notice that we're taking a square root of a negative number. And so in this situation, we don't find any real answers for x. No real solutions. For x. Graphically, that should mean that we don't have any x-intercepts. Let's go take a look at what we know so far and maybe a little bit more, a little more analysis coming along, and see if it would even be the case that this would have no real solutions or no x-intercepts. We had a vertex of negative 1, negative 27, So down very low, negative 1, negative 27, and then a y-intercept of 0, negative 30. We had an axis of symmetry of x equals negative 1. And if that's the case, we're going to have another point over here at negative 2, negative 30. And the parabola would open downward. According to our original equation, the parabola should open downward because the a value is negative 3. That should actually be part of our analysis. Let's go write that in right now. The parabola opens downward. Since a equals negative 3. When we analyze the graph now that we have the information that we know already filled in, when we were looking for x-intercepts, we would have been looking along the x-axis for them, and we didn't find any. And that exactly matches what our graph is telling us. We do not get any x-intercepts for this problem, or for this parabola.